Hello everyone, today I want to talk about climate change. Have you ever wondered what you can do to contribute to the reduction of climate change and other environmental pollution? Well, maybe you have considered installing solar energy on the roof, which kind of affordable, unaffordable, I mean. Or maybe you have considered to not use your cars and transportations anymore, but it sounds really impossible because you need the transportation to get to work and commute every day. So what can you do to actually contribute and to eliminate climate change in the future? Well, on SEMA pollution is to cut down on the meat you eat. Well, it may sound a little bit weird because food may have nothing to do with climate change, but it does in a very long, I mean, a very big impact on climate change and other environmental pollutions and problems too. Today, I'm going to describe to you the, the relationship between your diet and climate change and what you can do by cut down on that amount of meat to contribute further to the reduction and the elimination of climate change in the future. All right, so now let's come back a little bit to the past when livestock were raised. So wh where do you get your meat source meat source from you get that from the livestock from the animals raised in the field right and these animals surprisingly reduce release a huge amount of methane into the atmosphere and this methane is much more potent than even carbon dioxide and it accelerates and worsens the climate change problems because methane is one of the greenhouse gases and so it contributes to the climate change. It's obvious, right? No, not only that, but we also have kind of like 1 billion, 1 billion tons of grain just to feed all these livestock so that we can, it can provide us meat and clothing, which is enough to sustain over 3.5 billion people on Earth. So just imagine that, it's such a huge thing. And according to one research, even livestock and raising livestock in agriculture contribute to 25% of global warming. It is as twice as transportation add up. And if you think that it is a small number, think again, because transportation here includes cars, ships, planes, and all the cars and motorbikes combined into the whole world. So, when you stop eating meat, then less anim then fewer animals actually need to be killed in order to provide you that kind of food source, and you can actually contribute to climate change. You may think that, well, going on a diet or become a vegetarian is really hard because you cannot miss meat because you are a food addict and you are a sucker for food, ex especially when it comes to meat, hamburgers, and pieces well you don't need to be a total vegetarian just need to cut down the amount of meat you eat every single day for example instead of eight, eat six hours of beef or of steak you can cut it down to four hours right it is totally understandable so that is how it's gonna work and you know these small decisions you make every single day will accumulate and eventually it will add up to help us to combat climate change in the future. You don't need to spend thousands of monies on installing the solar roof on your roof in order to combat climate change. You don't need to plant trees if your garden is not, doesn't have enough space. Just be careful with your food and your diet. Thank you.